Okay, so I made a slight error in the previous part. I forgot to add this function, category exists, and it has an ID parameter. I also forgot the ID parameter, which is null by default in the get categories function. I had edit post as edit posts, which obviously is not what we want. And I forgot the ID parameter here. Terribly sorry. I hope you don't mind too much. Now let's go for the add category.php file. Here I have this basic file set up. Um, my title can be add a category. Um, I'm using HTML5. I hope you don't mind too much. If you're more comfortable using HTML4 or XHTML, feel free to use whatever you want. I just sort of like using the latest technologies. So let's view this in the browser and there we have add a category and here we have our form. Looks horrible, I know, but that's not the point of this tutorial. So let's start coding this. Here before we start the HTML we're going to say if is set post name. So basically we're checking if this field was submitted. And if it was, we're going to trim any wait space from the front and end of the posted value. We need to do this to make sure that there is actually input because we're going to check if empty name, then we have an error, of course. Um, so the reason we trim here is to make sure that if the user only inputs like a bunch of spaces whoops, that he still gets an error for not inserting a valid name. So if empty name, so if the name does not have a value we're gonna say error equals um, you must submit a user, oh, username category name and whoops there we go now so if they did submit one we're going to say if category exists name whoops so we're going to create the category exists function and of course that means oops this needs to be name all right so name equals and here we're going to protect ourselves from mysql injection by using mysql real escape string on the name remember we're getting this name from this form so we're dealing with user input and that means we need to secure that data. And now we're going to say query equals mysql query select count one. So we are checking if there already is an entry in the database with that particular name. Uh, select count one from categories where name equals name there we go and then we're going to return mysql result query zero and if that's equal to zero we're going to return false otherwise we return true so this line probably looks a bit cryptic, but basically what it says is if zero rows were returned with that category name, we're going to return false and the category does not exist. Otherwise, we return true 
meaning the category does exist. And that's all there is to it. So here we use count and as you see it's just an incredibly useful MySQL function. So we do if category exists name then we do error equals that category already exists and of course we also need to check if um, string length of the name is greater than 24 remember that we set the maximum length to 24 characters so we need to ensure that users cannot add more than 24 characters for a category name and we're gonna say error equals category names can be can only be up to 24 characters and then if no error um, was found so we're gonna say if not is set error remember if none of these conditions holds true we do not have an error variable so if it's not set we can simply do add category name now of course we have not created this function yet so let's do that here we have add category and name as with the category exists function we need to make sure it's secure so I'm just going to copy this and then we're going to say mysql query insert into categories and then we set the name equal to name this is probably the simplest function there is in the entire blog.php file so let's see I guess we could redirect somewhere but I'm not gonna do that just yet let me just show you that it does work now just to be sure let's refresh I'm gonna add one called uncategorized okay category exists is not found let's take a look of course we call it here let's see category exists did we do something wrong here Ooh, my voice sounded a bit weird there I'm just gonna pause the video and check back with you when I found the error all right I made a terrible mistake of course we do need to include the init file so resources slash init.php spell that right init.php and let's try that again uh, yeah some uh, silly things here anyway uncategorized add category and we get another error um, that's okay that's good for debugging so we see that this query seems to fail so we're gonna say echo mysql error and let's see I hope it did not insert something it did not that's good so let's refresh no database selected okay interesting that sure is interesting mysql select db db name wow this sure is interesting config.php blog well I've reached the 10 minute mark and Alex wants me to stay around that a bit 
So I'm just going to stop this here and we're going to figure out the problem in the next part. Oh wait, by the way, I just see it. I of course need to change that back to root. And then when I refresh this, it works perfectly fine. And we have, if it worked correctly, the uncategorized um, category. So I'm going to stop it here and see you in the next part.